Today, we're going to talk about one vitamin that nearly one half of the U.S. population is deficient in, especially older adults, young women, and infants. And when it comes to people of color, the rate of deficiency skyrockets to almost 75% for Latinx communities and over 80% for Black communities. Okay, Kim, what vitamin is this? Well, it's vitamin D. Vitamin D is sometimes called the sunshine vitamin. It's actually a steroidal hormone that is made when the cholesterol in your skin is exposed to the ultraviolet rays of the sun. There are two different kinds of vitamin D. There's vitamin D2 as well as vitamin D3. Vitamin D2 is found in plant-based foods, while vitamin D3 is found in animal products and fatty fish. Vitamin D3 has been found to be twice as effective at raising levels of vitamin D in the bloodstream. Vitamin D is essential for good health. It affects bone health, mental health, immune system function, and even protects against certain cancers and diabetes. How much sun exposure does someone really need in order to make their own sufficient supply of vitamin D? And how do you do that safely since sun exposure has its own risk? This is a perfect question for an expert dermatologist. Although people refer to vitamin D as the sunshine vitamin, the amount of vitamin D that an individual actually gets through sunlight is variable. And ultraviolet rays from the sun and tanning beds increase skin cancer risk. The American Academy of Dermatology doesn't actually recommend getting vitamin D through unprotected sun exposure or tanning beds. So the question is, where do you get vitamin D? For vitamin D3, fatty fish like salmon, herring, trout, tuna, sardines, mackerel, and halibut. There are also foods that are fortified with vitamin D, like dairy products, soy milk, orange juice, and breakfast cereals. The single best source of vitamin D3 taking a tablespoon of cod liver oil or fish oil. It can give you more than 200% of your recommended daily dose. Your body can store what it actually doesn't use. If you can't get these foods into your diet for some reason, there's always vitamin D supplements. But first, how do you even know if you're deficient? The only way to tell if you're deficient in vitamin D is to have a blood test. Depending on your results, your provider may recommend oral supplementation with vitamin D or high dose vitamin D injections. Severe prolonged vitamin D deficiency can lead to symptoms including bone pain, muscle twitching, and weakness. Being vitamin D deficient is quite common. If you don't get outside in the sun often or if you rarely eat fish, you may wanna consider taking a vitamin supplement to make sure that you have enough for your optimal health.